it's time to finish the special event of the month and I don't know about you guys but the month of November just flew by for me. In case you do not know what a special event is during a month I watch one movie per week that's four movies overall and all of the films have something in common. This month I'm checking out films that are set in 2021 but not made in 2021. By the by I'm the movie guy and this is my review for seeking a friend for the end of the world. The end is nigh as is the case for most films that are set in the future. An asteroid is about to hit earth and completely obliterated when Lydia finds out she decides to leave her husband Dodge. Now Dodge does not want to spend the end of the world on his own but he also does not want to meet a total stranger. He meets a neighbor by the name of Penny who has been getting his mail for the past three years. One letter was from Dodge's first love. He and Penny go on a road trip to the last known location of Olivia, the first one who got away. This is a black comedy film and not everyone is going to dig this type of comedy. I enjoyed it. I didn't roll over laughing but as I've said I did I did enjoy it. There are some genuine hilarious moments and the cast can actually carry this comedic relief. It's also a drama film. The main trigger for the action is of course something incredibly dramatic. It also explores themes such as depression, loneliness and not wanting to die alone. It's also a road trip movie as the two travel to find the love of Dodge's life. For this movie to work the characters have to be good. Dodge's greatest fear is dying alone. That's why he got married and that might actually come to fruition. He doesn't get enthused by much, he is a downer and he very very rarely snaps out of this like nothing seems to make him get excited which is something that I didn't like about his character at all. Penny on the other hand is completely different. She is a wild horse. She loves to live life, she listens to music and she wants to spend the last of her days with her family, something that she has not done up to that point. The script is very witty but what I like most about it is how it gave so many details about the characters. Dodger for example, the protagonist, is very very developed. We get to learn a lot about his life story and he has a pretty sad story. Penny is a little bit less developed than Dodge but she is given enough detail. It's always great when you watch a film and you feel like you know the characters. Seeking a friend starts slow, very very slow. In the beginning Dodge gets left, he goes to some friends, they try to set him up. Until Penny arrives on the screen this movie seemed to be just a disappointing film. A, a disappointing film which had a lot of promise. Things pick up after Penny's appearance and sure she is a great character but it takes a skilled actor to bring that to life. Thankfully Kara Knightley is more than capable. She lights the screen up and she is the best performer of the picture. Steve Carell also plays pretty well but in playing a downer character I was very very much tired of his act. And that's not his fault. I'm sure that he was instructed to play that way by the director. In terms of similarities between film and real world uh, there's no apocalypse about to happen. There are no asteroids about to hit earth hopefully. All the other stuff though about human connection would be true well in any time. Seeking a friend for the end of the world had promise and it delivered. So our recommendation is that you should give this movie a watch with a rating of 3.5 stars. I hope you all have enjoyed the special event of the month. Next month in December is going to be family movies month and I'm only going to do movie list and I'm gonna bet my bottom dollar that you guys will find something to watch for Christmas with your families in this list. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of seeking a friend for the end of the world. While you are there press that like and subscribe button, press the bell to get notifications every time my videos get uploaded and until next time keep on watching movies guys. <laughs> Hello. You okay? No. I'm never gonna see my family again. Would you like to come in? I won't steal anything if you don't kill me. Agreed. Who's the girl? She's the one that got away. Well, they all got away, but she was the first. Yeah. Let's go find her.